Hi, my name is Isaiah Coberly. I'm a, um, a virtual reality enthusiast, and uh, I thought I'd share some of the things that I'm finding in my experimentation here um, on the Reddit forums and also on YouTube. So uh, anyway, uh, my whole bag is, is that I think that VR should be productive. I think that you should be able to get some things done in it, and it's not just game time. Though the games are fun, uh, I feel slightly limited by them because I'm typically three-dimensionally modeling something, I'm painting something, I'm, I'm making new ideas. And so I'm constantly looking for ways to be productive using my Oculus Rift, using Wacom technology, Pentable technology, tablet PCs, three-dimensional programs, and painting programs and such. Anyhow, uh, just to cut to the chase, this is a program called Art Rage, and I've found it to be the best one so far for stereoscopic painting. And this is something that you can do right now if you have an Oculus Rift. So I'm going to just give you a brief overview of some of the things I've found. I'm relatively new at this. I've only been doing it uh, for probably a couple hours or so. Um, I'll do my best to, uh, to try and make uh, things look okay and not make you go permanently cross-eyed. Um, but uh, I can't promise anything. So anyhow, this is uh, Art Rage. Uh, it's a great print painting program. I have all kinds of tools here in my right eye. Uh, by the way, if you're not wearing an Oculus Rift, I recommend that you put your Oculus Rift on and run this video in full screen mode. And then you can experience what I'm experiencing as I'm using this program. And it's by no means perfect, um, but it's, uh, it, it's a start. So uh, what I did was I broke off the, uh, the tool panels. And in my right eye, you'll see here I have my... Uh, uh, brush picker and I can also set the size of my brush and do a number of other things. I also have access to layers and I'll try and bring that into the center of vision. Uh, in my left eye, and you have to cross the screen to do it, you'll notice that my mouse cursor actually crosses the screen. That's a big part of it. Um, it crosses your field of vision. I have a color picker and then over here I have uh, settings and I just kind of put them in uh, slightly out of the way places so that I can grab them quickly. So first of all, let me select a color. I'm going to go up here and select blue as my color to work with. Cross the field of vision, come over here and make sure that I'm set to, how about if we do a, um, a piece of chalk and we'll keep it kind of beepy looking. Hopefully that'll help with some of the uh, convergence issues. Uh, and then I'll just start off with layer one. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put a line right in front of you, just right in the center of your vision here on your right eye. So this is only being viewed for your right eye right now. And I'm gonna put a cross across it, right? And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna You'll notice my cursor, I'm going to take it to the other side of the screen. And now I'm going to line it up, and you'll see that I'm in line with it. All right. Now your left eye, if this was closer to you, your left eye would perceive this cross a little bit to the right. And you'll notice that if you're looking through an Oculus Rift like you should be, um, that sometimes if, as you kind of break away, that cross wants to follow those crosshairs. If it didn't work for you, this will. Watch. I'm just going to take and draw a line right down the center of the, the same shape and size. Oh, now I have convergence. How about you? Okay, so now it becomes easier to draw the other side of it because now I have convergence. So I have something that's relatively close to you, and I'll, I'll just go ahead and draw a circle around that. All right, and now since we're already focused, I can go back to the right side, and my eyes will kind of naturally tell me where that circle is from the standpoint of convergence. And it gets a little bit hairball, I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of, you know, it's not as precise as possible, but this should be kind of right in front of you. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually pick a point far away. So in my right eye, that's kind of where I tend to start, I'm just gonna draw a little dot up on the screen here. All right, and then I'm gonna actually cross over into the left side. And what I'm gonna do is think about something far away. I'm gonna try and look at the screen door effect, look at those pixels, and not concentrate on the thing in front of me. And I'm gonna put a little dot that's far away. All right, now that we have our point set, what I'll do is I'll draw a circle around that. And then I can use that to focus. So you kind of leapfrog around in three-dimensional space using your eye as the triangulation tool to determine the focus that you're dealing with. So now we have something that's close then we have something that's far away. We have two focal points to deal with. All right, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually try, I'm, I'm, right now I'm just working in flat planes and I have been experimenting in, in working with bending things. For instance, if I take and put a line right in front of your face right here, in your right eye, right? I'm just gonna put a line right there. Now if I go into the left eye, all right, first of all, I'm gonna cheat it over to the left 
And you'll notice that as you, if you're following my cursor, you'll notice that that line wants to move a little bit. I think your eyes kind of adapt to it. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take, I'm going to draw it, and you'll notice it start to zip up. So there's interesting things happen. I'm going to pull it away and out. All right. And now I kind of, this is a, a difficult one to get. I'm actually going to erase that, and I'm going to move that over just a little bit. Or actually, here's what I can do is I can actually, if you bear with me for a second, I'm going to break off. I'm going to break off my toolbar ta tablet here, and I'm just going to go ahead and you'll see that I have an undo button. I'm going to undo a couple times. All right, let me just give that one more try. And this time, I think I'm going to do it on this side. Yeah, I'll do it right here. Now I'm drawing this line in your right eye. And my goal is, I'm not very good at this yet, but I'm going to try to make it curve in at you a little bit. All right, now it's kind of curving in. All right, don't strain your eyes too hard. Um, that wasn't exactly the most well-executed situation, but you can see that uh, it can be done, and it can be, you know, you can get good at it. Um, Another thing that to try is the convergence from near to far. So, uh, you know, obviously, if you're looking at something far away, the convergence is a lot closer. So, what you would need to do is start with I'll start with the right eye, and what I'm going to do is just pull something out here, and then I'm going to make it converge with this. All right, now this is one eye, so it's not going to be very deep or anything, but I'm just going to kind of make a little arrow. All right, hopefully we can do this without making it a mess. All right, now I'm going to move to the left eye. In the convergence, I'm going to focus in on this point back here, and I'm going to try and make it converge over here. Now with my left eye, let's see here, I would probably see this as being a little bit further away to the right. And then maybe it comes down, and you'll see it just kind of zips together like some sort of jacket. Now I'm going to focus on the forward cross as I come into home base here. All right. And then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take and try and cheat this out a little bit, uh, the, the little swirly here. I want it to be a little bit over. So I'll, I'll kind of look at where it wants to be. And then I'm going to, uh, I'm going to actually just take and cheat it out a little bit. And you'll see that that starts to converge too. And uh, just kind of follow the line down. And eventually you have like these kind of cool three-dimensional situations. Ooh, okay, so that one got a little bit out of whack there. Um, yeah, I don't mean to make it go cross-eyed, I just wanted to show you a little trick. After a while, after you have enough things in the three-dimensional space, it starts to become a little bit easier to actually draw things in 3D. You just kind of have, like, your eyes have some reference points to go to. So uh, when you're working in 3D, it's just like, oh, okay, well, this goes here, obviously. It takes a minute for it to converge, and then all of a sudden it converges. And it can be really interesting. Once your eyes kind of find what place something's at, they just kind of go there. All right, now I'm going to let you go. You should take your Oculus Rift off to walk around, uh, blink for a while. If you're a developer, by all means, uh, I would love to see some more productivity kinds of things so that um, everybody isn't going cross-eyed trying to make uh, two-dimensional apps work with uh, the Oculus Rift, uh, but I'm really excited for the technology. I'm really excited for the future of the technology. I'm going to keep playing with stereoscopic painting because I think it's got potential and there's some understandings and tricks that have yet to be learned, uh, and I'm sure that uh, you can kind of create illusions maybe beyond what uh, computer-generated uh, uh, graphics can do as far as you know uh, mapping convergences and things like that. Uh, anyhow, thanks for watching the video, and um, we'll talk to you later.